Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with a bit of Audacity news. Actually, I read this story on OMG Ubuntu, and uh, this is good news, actually. Um, the newest version of Audacity, which is 2.3.1, now is available for Linux. Um, 2.3.0 actually got skipped because of a bug that didn't allow it to really work correctly. So, uh, this is really cool. I just updated my system. Uh, last night and I was playing around with it a bit but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features and bug fixes um, we could go in here to the audacity team website and I apologize for that dog barking in the background it's the neighbor's dog and it just never ever ever stops barking ever <laughs> like, but anyway okay so alright let's take a look at some of the changes they listed on the website here and uh, first off, we have the scrub ruler, which is now turned off by default and is not displayed. The reason we did this was because we found too many users were accidentally clicking in the scrub ruler and then finding themselves stuck in scrubbing mode, which I had done that several times, actually. Um, this will only affect you if you opt to reset your preferences settings as part of the 2.3.1 installation. Manually reset your preferences or install Audacity for the first time. If you want or need to turn back turn it back on again use the transport uh, scrubbing menu and then turn it back on blah 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 so okay now we have also advanced vertical zooming uh, which is pretty cool we'll take a look at this stuff in the software itself here in a minute but uh, what it says here is we have added a new command to the view zoom menu for turning advanced vertical zooming on or off advanced vertical zooming enables you to left click gestures in the vertical scale to control zooming this is in addition to the simple mode vertical zooming commands available in the right click context menu in the vertical scale um, now I'm not really sure exactly what that'll look like when we do it but we'll check it out here in a second uh, micro fades introduced in 2.3.0 I'm actually not even sure what this is uh, can reduce the click when playback starts and stops. We've now made this an opt-in feature rather than provide it all the time. This can be set in playback preferences. So I'm not totally sure what that means, micro fades. Um, but uh, again, uh, it's one of those things we could check out. Uh, and then we have regular interval label improvements. And this is something that I'm probably going to be interested in because I use the label track quite a bit. And what it says here is we have made some improvements to the regular interval labels access by uh, tools slash regular interval label labels in particular we have made it possible to create a range of labels and not just point labels with this tool you can do this by specifying the label length in the new input field and label length and field length of label region seconds okay that that's worded just terribly but I'm sure it's cool though <laughs> so all right, let's go ahead. Here's some bug fixes li uh, listed down below, but I'm going to just open up Audacity so we can see if, a little bit of what they're talking about. Okay, so doing a little bit of playing around here, I figured out what they mean by the advanced uh, vertical zoom uh, feature that's new. If you go in here to uh, view and then zoom and then turn it on just by checking advanced vertical zooming, what you can do now is you can go here, they call this the vertical scale, and you see how that magnifying glass appears there. If you right click and then drag your cursor anywhere in that, it will zoom in on whatever you, you highlight. So if we go like that, now it zooms in on just that section right there. And if you want to reset it, you just right click back in the vertical scale and you go to uh, zoom reset. And so that's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't personally ever use anything like that, but maybe some of you do. If you wanted to get into really view, I, maybe that will come more useful if you're doing like a spectral uh, analysis view or something like that. But uh, the other thing um, that they were talking about in there, which was micro fades. Now this one, I was still, I'm not really sure how to demonstrate it to you on here, but what this is supposedly doing uh, well, probably is doing. I don't, I don't want to doubt what they're saying, but like, um, okay, so micro fades option. Now, what this is, is when you are using multiple tracks, and if you import a track into Audacity, and the end of the track or the beginning of the track cuts off abruptly, you'll get a click. That's what they're talking about when they mean, uh, when they say playback starts and stops. 
we made this an opt-in feature rather than so basically what they're saying is uh, when they say can reduce the click when playback start or stops they're talking about like sometimes if you have a wave file that just starts or stops abruptly and you get that click sound they're not talking about a click track so that was what confused me there for a second um, but uh, that's what that means so I actually think that's pretty nice um, but it could be not so great uh, all the time because if you're working with samples or editing samples you want to make sure you know if there's a click there so you can get rid of it um, so yeah it's good that they made it so you can turn it on or off okay now as far as the regular interval regular interval labels I'm not seeing that uh, where they say it is here in the tools menu um, yeah it's just not there now I don't know if this is just the Linux version or maybe they forgot to update that from uh, where it was before but let's see now possible to create a range of labels and not just point labels with this tool so it should be we have made some improvements regular interval labels accessed by tools regular interval labels so yeah again if I go to tools I do not see regular interval labels here now is it under generate okay I'm not seeing that if any of you guys know where that is in the Linux version if it's different in Windows I haven't checked on Windows yet um, but I will but uh, yeah if you know where that is let me know down below um, now the one thing you're probably wondering is how do you get the latest version of audacity on Linux now what you're gonna need to do is actually add a PPA uh, repository uh, so you can get the latest version because the only PPA that they have on the um, Audacity website listed is its daily build. So you don't want to do that because you'll you'll end up with some unstable uh, daily build. So you want to get the latest version of Audacity to run on Ubuntu or Linux. Uh, well, actually, this has only been tested by me on Ubuntu. So, but if you want to get it on Ubuntu, I'm running 18.4 LTS and it's working just fine. Um, so what you need to do is go here and add this PPA to your system. And the way to do that is just type in sudo add apt repository PPA colon Ubuntu handbook one slash audacity. And I already did this, but I'm just going to show you uh, so you can see what it does. Now, if we just open up a terminal here, I'm just going to paste that command in there. Press enter. It's going to ask for my password. Okay, now it's going to add, I already added it, but it'll let me do it again. And I just press enter. Now I noticed also that it automatically does uh, app get update. Um, and I don't know if this is a new feature in Ubuntu or it must be because before you used to have to manually type sudo app get update as you can see right here. Um, but it just did it by itself. And it did that the last time I did it too. Okay, so once that finishes updating to install, all you're going to need to do is just type in sudo apt get install audacity and then press enter and then once you do that it'll install I already have it there so I'm not gonna do it again but uh, yeah so pretty great um, you know not a lot of huge changes but there's some significant stuff there stuff moved around a bit and if you're not familiar also like the way I got mine to be dark like this uh, this got added a while ago not just with this release but if you go into preferences and then go to um, interface there's now the themes option so you can select the dark theme there you can do classic which is the classic uh, looking theme light which is similar to dark but light and then high contrast and custom I'm not really sure if you have to use a um, like a text file to get that to work I haven't actually tried that um, so but yeah you can do the themes now which is pretty nice so anyway hopefully you guys found this educational and helpful if you did click like thumbs up Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.